from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I'm Mary McKenzie with this 10 News update. Crews had to rescue two people trapped on the Torrey Pines cliffs after this morning's rains. Those two people, they were in their 20s. They were hiking on the Indian Canyon Trail when they called 911 about 3 this morning, saying they were stuck because of the downpour. Firefighters and a chopper came in for the rescue. And fire crews were able to lift them to safety. One had hypothermia symptoms, but both are expected to be okay. The city has activated its inclement weather shelter program to help get the homeless off the wet streets for the night. Homeless who come to Father Joe's will have a warm place to sleep indoors with a cot, blankets, a meal, showers, even a change of clothes if they need it. Guests who were there overnight had to leave by 5 this morning, but the shelter will be open once again tonight. And to help people deal with the rain, the county and Cal Fire are giving out free sandbags today. The sandbags are available to people who live in unincorporated communities. They're asking people to call ahead, though, to check availability and also bring your own shovel to locations where you'll need to fill your own bags with sand. We do have a list of all of the locations at 10news.com. Jim is here with a check of the weather. Yeah, the weather can create some challenging conditions, as we saw, but also a great deal of beauty as well as we look at Mount Laguna and the snow that was brought up there, the smattering of snow that they got today. So here's what we're looking at. The rain clearing this afternoon will dry out again tomorrow and then more rain by midweek could come as early as Monday night and it will peak by Thursday. So we have a lot more rain and precipitation on the way. More snow as well. Definitely play it safe out there, Mary. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, you can go to 10news.com. You can also download our free 10 News app in your phone's app store. For 10 News, I'm Mary McKenzie.